of COVID vaccine mandates and the fallout for those who refuse the shots. We wanted to know what happened after that. So our Rahima Ellis met with three people for a candid conversation about the consequences that followed. I feel secure in my decision. I don't know the long-term effects. I opted to take the unpaid leave. Karen Roses is a patient care technician at a New York hospital. Rob Erbst, a married father of three boys, spent 17 years at a New York City high school as a phys ed teacher. Raquel Martinez is a pediatric occupational therapist. They all reached the same conclusion about vaccine mandates. Why did you decide to put your livelihood on the line? I felt like I didn't have much of a choice in the matter, that I was being forced to do something, to put something into my body. I felt that what they were doing, what they have done, is they basically held for ransom your your health insurance, your benefits, your livelihood, your career in some cases. A decision pulling at Raquel's heart. My last task at my job was um, laminating hearts for my students. And I was able to place them in boxes. I'm getting very emotional because I miss them. The consequences go beyond emotion. Financially, can you see yourself continuing? We have discussed the possibilities of having to sell our house, having to find a new place to live. Does anything keep you awake at night? Yeah, but, you know, fear of the future, uh, not knowing, you know, what's going to happen next. Am I going to be able to get a job? Or are we going to be able to keep our home? Losing um, a significant portion of your income, just like that, where you weren't able to prepare, it, it's shocking. But for them, concerns about the vaccine more frightening than losing their jobs. Are you afraid that being vaccinated will hurt you? There's too many unknowns for me to be comfortable with it. I think we need to allow for adequate science and studies to be done. Rob believes because he already had COVID, he's protected. Research shows the vaccines are overwhelmingly effective and safe, and antibody levels do wane over time after infection. What do you say when people say, it's just selfish not to think of the larger community and just to think of yourself? Well, it's selfish to think that an individual or a government is going to take away my right to choose what's best for me. Is, wouldn't that be selfish? I don't think anybody should impose their beliefs on me for what I choose not to do. What would you need to hear to change your mind? I don't think there's anything I need to hear. If my spirit is telling me this is not right for me, I'm going to listen to my intuition every time. I'm not saying not ever. I'm just saying not yet, not for me. Taking a firm stand and now figuring out how to live with it. Rahima Ellis, NBC News, New York.